welcome back to the channel and this is a mini vlog just to answer some of the questions that lots of people have had about how I smashed the van what on earth did I just catch oh no 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 <laughs> Firstly, I want to say thank you for all the kind comments and there have been so many kind comments um, on the vlog that I made about when I bumped the van um, and also in person when I've seen people um, out and about um, and it really has meant a lot to me. I, I was really, really upset. I did cry a lot. Um, Ricky was absolutely great. He didn't blame me at all. He was really good. I blamed me. I beat myself up about it. Um, and I was really, really angry and cross with myself and just frustrated at such a stupid thing to do. But anyway, everyone has really, really lifted my spirits and just made me feel um, a bit better about myself than I did. So thank you. It really does make a difference. I don't think I have anything negative from anyone, um, which in this day and age is quite, quite something. So thank you. It really does mean a lot. It's boosted my confidence. Um, a few people have sort of said get back in the van, um, drive again as soon as you can. Um, I did drive uh, the van a little bit um, at, on our way to the Van Life Festival, um, but I haven't taken it out solo yet, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, but I have driven it, so yeah, that, that hurdle has been sort of um, uh, jumped already. Uh, but yeah, in terms of solo female van life, I'm not sure. I haven't booked the trip that I was going to book in August yet. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, so firstly, how did I do it? Um, lots of you have been asking, how on earth did I manage to, to bump the van? Well, let me show you. So at the back of the van, here are my reversing cameras. Two different angles. However, the van continues up and up. A good another three, four, five feet five feet I'm exaggerating <laughs> a good another three feet beyond the the camera so if I swivel around the camera you can see this is what I hit the sticky outy roof there of the garage because the sensors are obviously working on the basis that this is recessed a couple of foot in so the sensors which are here are actually pretty useless um, and the van also curves out to add insult to injury <laughs> it curves out from where the sensors are so the sensors should never be trusted um but yeah that's what i hit no damage to the garage whatsoever because it really was a bump not a smash as such but uh, the result was very much a smash the reversing cameras are sort of halfway um, down on the back of the van uh, below the window and you have to take that into account when reversing if you factor in your van still sticks up another two or three foot above that so what happened was we I got home from the Newbury trip absolutely fine all by myself not a problem and reversed onto our drive absolutely fine first time successful but I realized I was a little bit squiff so our um driveway is a slight funnel shape so you kind of can't really get straight to one side or the other so you just sort of need to yeah position yourself so i decided to give it a little bit of a shimmy and redo what a mistake that was um so ricky was moving the car um at the same time so he sort of took the car off the front of the drive in front of the van so that i could pull forward and reverse back again and basically long story short i was just watching my sides each side to make sure i was straight this time trying to watch the back of the van uh, watch the garage at the back there make sure i didn't hit the front make sure i didn't hit ricky by when i was sort of reversing forward to get my angle straight too much going on too many things to look at and i completely misjudged the overhang of the garage roof so the garage roof sticks out considerably more than the garage door uh, which the sensors were reacting to and the cameras cannot see that overhang of the garage roof either 
I know it's there. I've reversed onto our drive many times and I just lost concentration for a minute. Just didn't take into account how much that overhang stuck out. And there we go. I just rolled into the into the garage roof, basically. Um, so it went with a bit of a bang, a bit of a bit of a third, but I just sort of bounced off it, really, because I wasn't going at any kind of a speed. Obviously, I was just reversing and rolling back. Um, but it was enough to do that quite considerable damage. So, um, yeah. So got out, looked at the damage. I burst into tears and uh, yeah. So the next uh, part of the question is, what have we done to cover up the hole um, and what's next for the repair? Well, unfortunately, even though about a month has passed, the van is nowhere near being repaired. So initially, Ricky just um, put some duct tape on it and just did a quick fix just to keep it watertight, just in case. Um, and then he went to the, the shops and got some wrap um, and he's put some black wrap to hold the window in place. Now, the window is actually made of plastic. Um, so, yeah, I thought, oh, it can't be that expensive, you know. Um, I was wrong. So the wrap is holding the remaining bits of plastic together. Um, on that back window and we've had some really good thunderstorms to test it and it is holding it watertight. Um, it is cosmetic damage only really uh, but obviously it would let water in through that first layer however there is a second layer um, inside and that's not been pierced at all so we are we're watertight we're safe and it's obviously um, rigid there's nothing structural about that window it's not like the van's unsafe to drive or anything like that the only risk would be ingress of water but the van is completely watertight. That's not a problem at all. Uh, so no worries there. So the, the fix is, is, is doing its job. It's holding it really well. So the next stage was to try and find a replacement um, piece of plastic window. And that has proven to be a little bit difficult. So our van is slightly unusual in its shape and design. If it had been a side window, I'm sure it would have been dead easy and not all that expensive. But no, I go smash the back window, don't I? Yeah, um, so it's been really hard to replace. We we called up Oak Tree Motorhomes where we bought this vehicle from. Uh, they were great. They were really um, sort of clear and honest from the start that it probably was going to be quite um, difficult to source the part and not cheap. And they did some research and they came back to us and said that the part would need to be ordered. Um, there are none available in the country anywhere that they um, could find from their usual providers and the part would need to be made um and yeah sourced whatever i don't know and it would take quite some time and it would be quite expensive so we have since then paid for the part which is nearly 700 pounds yes 700 pounds just for the plastic and when the time comes we'll then have to pay for the the fitting as well obviously the old window to be removed the new window to be put in place and sealed so I guess that's going to be several more hundred pounds. So yeah, I did a real good proper job. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we did, um, lots of people gave loads of suggestions about places to source a replacement piece of um, plastic window. Um, I did contact a couple of places that didn't hear anything back. I think it is just quite rare. It's quite an unusual shape and size. Um, so thanks to everybody who sort of gave us suggestions of places to try. Um, we're just gonna you know suck it up and i'll just i'll just be saving my pennies and getting a paper round um from now until we have to pay for uh the fitting as well um yeah so i'm just glad it's not christmas or anything like that and we're in the summer so i don't have to worry about heating bills being too bad at the moment so i can just save my pennies um yeah to pay for the replacement so that's where we're at so if you see us out and about this summer it's a piece of black wrap over the window. It actually looks really good. Ricky's done a really good job. Um, lots of people have said you don't even really notice it to start with. When you look at it from the side, you can see the reflection of the, the broken bits of plastic. So, But we're watertight, we're safe, we're structurally, structurally sound. There's no issue with that. So we are still able to use the van um, and I just don't know how long it's gonna take. No one knows how long it's gonna take to get this replacement piece. So yeah that's where we are so i just thought i'd update you all thank everybody so much for their kind words i 
so many um i don't know males and females as well i did think that some other some males might have something to say but absolutely everyone's been so lovely um really really supportive so thank you just shows once again that the van life community um really does pull together I'm getting emotional now because it, it i was so upset i was really really upset um so angry with myself so thank you you really have um you really have helped so we'll keep you informed but it's not going to stop us so um hopefully we'll see you in a field around a fire pit um somewhere soon thank you take care thanks for watching